Hey, it's Kim here and welcome to The Gardens Between. I can't actually remember when I first heard about this game, but I know I went to a panel at PAX one year where someone from the dev team was speaking and I clearly remember what drew me in being the mechanic, which was to do with time manipulation. I like the look of it. It looks like a little model or something. It's cute. It's been a rainy day. We've obviously escaped out of our windows. Oh, we're neighbours and we're camping in our treehouse. That seems really dangerous during a storm. Makes me nervous. Please don't get struck by lightning. Oh, how cute. They seem a bit sad. Ooh. Time has stopped. Time is rewinding. Oh, the world around me moves, but not me. Touch it. <gasps> this is great. I think the panel at PAX was to do with, I don't think there's any dialogue or something. I feel like that's what it was. So it was about how to create a narrative when you don't have words to tell your story. We're gonna press right. That's moving the world around me. Oh, okay. So time is going, I'm literally just moving time forward and back and it moves them too. But when I get here, it's no good. So we go backwards until What? This is beautiful. So if we go all the way back, it's built. Someone's moving, I feel like. Might be the story. Someone's moving away. Maybe it's their last day together. Arena? Arena. Arena. Arena is moving. I wonder where they're going. Arena being the one with the uh, snazzy leather jacket on. Oh look! A stone! You can touch it. I don't know why I want to grab it, but I have. It might be useful. Oh, they're holding hands while they walk. Look at that. That's so cute. They're such good friends. And then we'll put it back on the stone. Where are we going? This is so neat. I love it when... A game has a concept like this and you're just drawn into it immediately. Oh, we're somewhere new now. It's kind of like little vignettes. We're hanging out on the dock. That's the tree house that we've just tied up. We've got our lantern, but there's no light in it anymore. But we can ring that. And now if we go back, in time, can we grab it? Oh, this is nice. So we're kind of moving back and forward and impacting things as we go. It's a really different way to solve a puzzle. And they interact with things in different ways. And now we've closed that flower. I guess we go back. <laughs> this is really neat. This is a really cool concept. I'm excited for the later puzzles where potentially going back and forth is a little harder. 
It's really cute, the interactions with each other and the world. I feel like you get a sense of them and their personalities. What is in the door? I feel like we might be exploring their lives. This is how they met. Oh, I'm in control of time here. Interesting. This kind of feels like level select. It is level select. There you go. <laughs> garden. All these islands are so neat and you've got these like the way they're so individual but then you've got these personal effects from their home. We've got something dangerous in here. Come on catch up. Hiding in the esky. Oh but there's my light. Okay, first puzzle. Here we go. Suppose I need that little cube to pick the light up from the flower. Maybe if I give him the lantern, and the lantern can catch the light. Hey, there we go. And now bring it back to me. I'll pick you up. Go over here. This is really cool. And the music is so calming. What did you do to the hose? Close that flower and see what happens. Okay, so now I need to figure out how to pick up the next light and give the lantern to you over here and then I'll pick him up and then I'll rewind this is such a chill game it's beautiful and I love the water arc It's really, really beautiful. Oh, I just noticed it's got the hills hoist in the background. A true Australian icon. Oh, those are, um, I can't remember the name. Zoop, zoopers? Zoopa dupers? The um, icy poles? They're good. Oh, wow. Another backyard episode. I always wanted to swing on a heels hoist on the washing line. Wasn't allowed because when you do that, you kind of break them and your parents don't want you to break them naturally.
sneak out light past. Did that work? We oh, it did. Hey. just want to be quiet because this is just so nice to be here just in awe. I love that they always put it on together. It's just a sign of their friendship even though they follow each other back and forth in the level. They finish things together at the end. That's really sweet. All those times in the paddle pool. In the backyard. Oh, they put the water balloons on the clothesline. Just <laughs> got icy poles. I love a splice. I'm all about a lemon lime, pine lime actually. I think they call it pine lime splice. Where are we now? The games room. Look at the window. Seeing into the outside world. Hmm. How are we going to get past this? Press that. Oh, we can manipulate time on specific objects now. And then, is it going to fall later on? That's interesting. We're adding new mechanics. Dominoes. Uh-huh. So we'll pick you up there. Do that. Yes, I see how this level is coming together. way through. I like that they have a different task each, the way that that builds into the puzzles. I think it's all been really strongly considered how it's been put together. I think it's really clever. Let me shoot off into space and create Saturn. Gotta say I'm not a fan of Jenga. Jenga makes me stressed because it's just the thought that things are going to fall over and make so much noise. Oh, they've got a controller. What controller is that? No idea. Oh, they've split up. Can I press buttons on the remote? Or can I? I feel like a grey one's kind of like a Sega controller. We're plugging it in. Seems very dangerous around the water. But okay. So now when they press the button. I can just rewind it to the start of the tape. <gasps> did they used to they did used to eject it by themselves. I remember that. It used to be so funny back when long play got invented and you had your short play VCRs 
So you put your long play tape in there that you recorded off whatever the TV and you put it into your VCR that could only do short play and it would be like blah, 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 because of how it like, couldn't read the format correctly. First time that ever happened I was so confused. playing the video game but we are and now I need to get it out of the flower I think and then if we go back yes oh I liked that puzzle that was so fun Super Silly Crow, that's what it was. <laughs> Not at all Super Mario Brothers. This is where we'd sit on the couch. Eat popcorn. I just want to have a look where he's going. I feel like I might need to put the lantern on him. Before we really get going with things. How's that? if we can go pick up a light for us. Aha! Uh -huh. There must be a point... in time, if I hold him there, and then... get the light! <laughs> really building. It's a nice pace as it goes. I'm enjoying this. Are they going to split up? Oh, you take the low road, I take the high road. to go back and forth in time to pick up a new light. No, I've got to do something different. I wonder what I do that does something. Look down there, there's a flower. Somewhere in there. I'll bring my little cubie. Put you there. Put a lantern. And see if we can find a light. Just realised there's another button down here to press. because the rug goes over it so now I need to solve this little problem maybe I can hold the rug up with the little cube I can oh this is so cool 
Now this will probably put the light on and now we'll go get our light. There we go. And then I'll bring the light back to Arana. She can pick that up and off we go to the end. I really like the way they interact with each other and I love the way these mechanics work. I don't think I've played anything quite like this. I really like the way these little moments build and we get a sense of what their relationship was like. Staying up late, playing video games, upside down, done that. Just to make Mario Kart harder. <laughs> this is such a peaceful game, I'm really enjoying it. I'm finding it kind of hypnotic in a way to play because you sort of just go forward and back, forward and back and the music is just so immersive and calming to listen to. It's just something I feel like I can just really get into and use it as a place to wind down which I love to do in games. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. If you'd like to hang out some more hit subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!